Hi welcome to IPCS Automation, in this video you are going to learn, GE FANUC 9030 PLC Hardware Configuration. Series 9030 PLC has modular type architecture, we have to place every module into respective slots. Let's open, the Profisa Machine Edition application for hardware configuration and programming. and select the machine edition template. Then select project template, as GE FANUC series 9030 PLC. And give a name to the project. Please note that, I'm configuring the hardwares with these modules in my possession. Here you can see the hardware configuration, and you can integrate your project with many additional racks, now we can go to the main rack. By default setting, it shows the rack with 10 slots, but we have only a 5 slot rack, so let's change that into one available backplane with me, that is chase number 397, you can see that in your right side. First replace the CPU module with series 9030 CPU model 331, which is available with me. And confirm he change. Then ignore the parameter carry over. Now you can see the CPU and communication parameters which you can change. I'm leaving it unchanged for now. And replace the power supply with power module 321. Now let us add the IO modules open slot number 2. Click on Add Modules then select Discrete Inputs. And select the 16-point Digital Input Module with Module number 645, in the same method, you can add Output Module. In Slot number 3, click on Add Modules then select Discrete Outputs and select 16-point Digital Output with Module number 742. So the hardware configuration is completed. Now let us check the configuration, by downloading a sample programming. Open the logic option in navigator window. And inside the program blocks, open the main block, place an open contact, and also place a output coil. Then give the address for the input contact as 1i, and as well as to the output coil as 1q. Now I'm going to download the program into the PLC. Thank you for watching. Check your subscribe button for more videos.